In this video, I'll show how to center hydraulic disc brakes on a bicycle. There's not much you'll need to do this. Most manufacturers will use a five millimeter Allen wrench for the brake caliper bolts. You may need a wide flat blade screwdriver or a thin tire lever like this to separate the pads. And you might need this nifty brake centering tool, which I'll show how to use here in a minute. I'm gonna put the bike in the stand for this, which is helpful to remove the wheel if you have to. You don't necessarily have to remove the wheel to do this, uh, but to separate the pads you will need to, so I'm gonna put the bike in the stand. All right, I've got the bike in the stand ready to get going. Before I do, I wanna mention the reasons you have to center your brakes is one, you get a new set of brakes, so you're putting on a new caliper, or you, you've had to remove the caliper for some reason, you've gotta recenter the brakes. Or you may be getting some rubbing, so you may be hearing the rotor touch the pads as the wheel goes around. And you can especially hear that if you ride through water or if you ride through rain, it kind of magnifies the sound of the rotor touching the pads. So if you're getting some rubbing, uh, it's probably a good idea to recenter the brakes. Now in that scenario, what I recommend doing is putting some space between the pads. And what that does is it will reset the pistons that are behind the brake pads. So if you've been using the brakes for a while, those pistons need to be reset. And that's what we'll do with the screwdriver or the thin tire lever. So let me show you how to do that first. So when you separate the pads, you are gonna to have to remove the wheel of whatever brake you're working on. So in this case, I'm doing the front, so we'll take the front wheel off. I'm gonna use the screwdriver to do this instead of the tire lever, it's a little bit easier for me. Before I do, I've got some rummy alcohol and paper towel. Whenever you get near brake pads, whatever you touch brake pads with, you wanna make sure there's absolutely no oil even skin oil or anything on the pads. So I wipe off the screwdriver with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure there's no oils on the screwdriver blade. Now I'll just take the screwdriver blade and put it between the brake pads and twist it a little bit just to put some space in between the brake pads. And again, that pushes the pistons back into the caliper and resets those pistons. And let me just mention here that never ever squeeze a brake lever without something between the brake pads, usually your rotor, or you have these blocks that you can put in uh, if you ever ship your bike or whatever, but never squeeze the brake pads. You can have those pistons come all the way out and you don't wanna do that. So, all right, now we've got some space in there with the pistons reset and we'll center the brakes. Okay, so you've gotta put the wheel back on to do this. So go ahead and put your wheel on the bike. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is the simple method, and this works about 90% of the time, and I'm going to just use my five millimeter Allen wrench to loosen the caliper bolts. Now this will seem overly simple, but it's really all you need to do, uh, and I've had, had guys tell me that they didn't really know to do this, and when I showed them, uh, they were surprised at how simple it is. So really all you're gonna do is squeeze the brake lever so you can't see it in the video but i am squeezing the brake lever with the bolts loose and i'll let go and just to show you that the caliper should be able to just move around you don't want to loosen the bolts too much just enough to let the caliper move around so again i'm going to squeeze the brake lever and as i'm squeezing hold down the brake lever and you can't see it in the video but i'm holding down the brake lever so the pads are being pushed in against the rotor Tighten each bolt, just kind of go back and forth, maybe a quarter turn, just I like to tighten these evenly. And then when I let go of the brake lever, the wheel should spin freely. And you shouldn't hear any rubbing. You shouldn't hear the, the rotor touching the pads. If you do hear it rubbing, then you're gonna need to go to the next step that I'll show you. So if the first method I showed you doesn't work, then it may be necessary to use something like this. Uh, this is made by Hayes. The official name of this is the Feeler Gauge Caliper Alignment Tool. It's very simple. I've also heard of people using business cards, putting them on each side of the rotor between the pads. So you can do that. So uh, again, you're gonna have to loosen the bolts on the caliper. So we'll just loosen these and then we'll use the tool to center. And I do want to mention that before using this or the business card method or whatever, 
you will most likely need to separate the pads a little bit again so pushing those pistons back before you do that otherwise you're probably not going to have enough space so make sure you do that before you use this tool okay so i've got the caliper loose so it moves around a little bit and then you're going to use this tool just put it on the rotor and you're just going to work it up in there so i spin the wheel it kind of rotates up inside between the rotor and the pads and now that's in there and just like before all you're going to do is squeeze the brake lever and as you're squeezing, tighten the caliper bolts. Okay, once you're done, let go of the brake lever, rotate the wheel backwards, let that come out. And now, just like before, the wheel should spin freely and you're done. Now there's one more method that you can use if you don't have the tool to put between the rotor and the pads, it can be a little bit of a frustrating method, but what you can do is you can, again, loosen the caliper bolts, and then you just kind of eyeball. You want to put something bright, something white, on the other side so you can see the space between the pad and the rotor, and then you just have to kind of manually uh, center the rotor so you can see even amount of space on both sides, and then you tighten the bolts. And this can be trial and error, and it's not something I recommend because it doesn't, it, it just takes a long time uh, at times. But you, sometimes when you tighten the bolt, it'll actually move the caliper. Uh, so I really recommend doing the simple squeezing the brake lever. And again, if that doesn't work, use the tool or business card to put between the rotor and the pads and then squeeze the brake lever and tighten the, the calipers. Uh, but, you know, you can use that visual method. It, it does work sometimes. I've used it. Um, but it, it's again, it's trial and error and it can be kind of frustrating. So that'll do it on this video of how to center hydraulic disc brakes on a bicycle. As always, if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up for me. That helps me out. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.